Where it is, YouTube. Your boy Jay back at you again. We want to drop the dog off that name. Cause um there's too many damn J Dogs on YouTube. I didn't do my research. I watched the Wright Brother video yesterday about um branding your YouTube. You know, I think the first step he said was, you know, get a name that's unique. And there's like 500 J Dogs, so that, that's where I have to go. Um, yeah, YTTA, what up, fam? Cowboy Nation had to get that out the way. Um, so I, I want to do this video to um, let people know why um, I've decided to to go to Prime and do OTR. Uh, from after doing local driving for four years uh, The main thing is more money um, Proceeding along this this OTR route is gonna lead me into um, Ultimately the lease game more than likely or possibly ownership um, Basically putting myself in a, in a better situation financially and freedom wise so that I won't be obligated to do um, well, limited to being a company driver, being limited to being an employee, which I speak adamantly about. Uh, I mentioned in my last two videos, my only other two videos. Um, and it's something that I'll, I'll constantly speak on throughout this journey. Um, you can't expect somebody to constantly give you, provide you with income. And being an employee for a company, you're, you're dependent upon that company to make a living. And ultimately, I was in the union of the company I was at, but you know, layoffs happen, man. If things go down, and you can be fired, you can lose your job. Whereas if you you get out here on your own, you start your own business, and you're employing yourself, yes, you can lose contracts, but you know, you're in control of what you do. And if you're good at what you do, whatever it may be, trucking, selling Avon, selling lipstick, you know, a mechanic, whatever, plumbing, heating, if you're good at what you do and you build up a reputation and earn respect from your customers, um, you, you should always be able to find business. You should, be, you should always be able to make money. And that doesn't hold true for being an employee because you can be the best employee and still get fired you know at the company I was at man they had a guy that was really good at what he did a uh, Hispanic dude Spanish dude named uh, Freddie and he ended up getting into it with one of the receivers that uh, I believe it was a Safeway he was delivering to and um, the Safeway receiver called the manager and said that uh, you know he they were cursing each other out he, there was a history between the two of them but long story short he lost his job they called Canada Dry said that you know he disrespected them we're talking about two grown ass adults you know he disrespected them and, and and they didn't want him to come back to that store anymore so the byproduct of him being kicked out of that particular store Canada Dry fired him never mind that he never gave them a problem he was he got all his deliveries off he was a time on, in time um you know, rarely was late, rarely bought any deliveries back. They fired him because the people called and said, hey, you know, we don't want to come to our store anymore because we talk shit to him, but he talked shit back, and we don't like that. So, you know, that's 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 the part of this world, man, when, you, when you're an employee. So, that's the big thing. Um, being in complete control of my finances... Is, is, is huge not being told what your time is worth what you're worth you know like I, I said before I was getting paid 19.25 an hour at the company I was at and um, I wasn't I wasn't happy with that I felt like I was being shortchanged um So that played a big role in why I love. Um, but I want to 
build something for my, my son. Right now, I just have one um, four-year-old, uh, JJ, Jamal Jr. Um, I need to, and I'm going to get myself established and establish something and, so that he can build upon it once he reaches that age, you know. Um, ideally, uh, I'm kind of up in here about college because I'm dealing with student loans right now and I study business management. And a business management degree means shit for me because I'm a truck driver. I knew I was going to be a truck driver. You know, I played football in school. That didn't work out um, as far as getting to the big league. So I knew I was going to drive trucks. But what does this degree mean? This degree doesn't mean anything for me. I don't get paid more or less for having this degree. I get paid more by experienced driving. Good, clean, uh, safe driving record, no tickets. That's that's how you earn your stripes, years of experience, not not a damn diploma or degree. So I don't know if I really want my son to go to school, barring he gives himself an athletic scholarship or a scholarship in general. But that's about the only way I'm going to pretty much promote him going to study, continue his studies in, in college situation or setting because it, the way the system is set up now is it's just, it's up to failure. You get all these student loans, you go out there and get this damn degree and you can't even get a job. You know, I, I got people I, I went to school with that graduated because I left, I dropped I dropped out. You know what I mean, I dropped out two semesters away from graduating, but the, the, the bills have piled up too much. And my, my mom needed help at home, so I came back home and started working and then getting my CDL. And, you know, four years later, here we are. Um, yeah, people that went to school, I went to school with graduated, man, got their business degree, and they're not they're not in the field they study. They're not getting paid what they thought they'd be getting paid. You know, a lot of them was working for twenty five, thirty, maybe $35,000 a year. And a few of them lucked up. One of my best friends, he came out and um, got a job where he was making 60, 70,000, but you know, the overwhelming majority didn't didn't look up. I was I was shitting on them. And what I was making wasn't enough. I was getting 45, 50 and then my last year 40, 54 last year, 54,000. And most of them was making 35 and y'all just stuck it out, finished y'all uh got y'all degree and stuff and you still ain't making no money. But that got me off track. But yeah, I don't really, I, I want to build and I'm going to build something for my son and future children to, to take over. Um, that's the plan there. Start a company, try to build it or build it. You gotta words, words, uh, you, the words you use determine, um, what happens with you in your life. I know that's a fact. You keep saying, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. You never get around to doing this shit because you keep saying you're going to try. You got to tell yourself, I'm going to go do this. And when you say you're going to do something, more than, more times than not, you get it done. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'm going to leave that for them, you know, to take over and build up. And, um, yeah, that, that's, that's the plan with that. So, um That's a big reason for why I decided to leave. I can see what my neighbor was just walking toward my car for. Her looking at me, probably like, why is this dude in here talking to herself? Um, yeah, build for the future, man. That has a lot to do with my decision. Uh, had to get that situation to be in a company driver, man, because there's guys that I work with, man. I was I, I started working there when I was 24. You know, I'm 28. There's guys that are going on 50, and they tell me, like, man, I don't know why I'm still here. You know, I, I should have left a long time ago. You got complacent. You got complacent being a company driver. You know you've you you know you've been underpaid. You know you've been overworked, and you got complacent. And I told them, I'm too young for this. You know, I'm 25, 26. I got bigger bigger goals and bigger aspirations than to be sitting here collecting these nickels and, and pennies, a few dimes, they throw you away. Nah, so... I'm going to go out here, I'm going to grind hard, you know, I'm going to run heavy, you know, and then uh, get my get my situation lined up and in order.